We're going to have an overview of the Coinco Vantage Bill Acceptor, uh, the features of it, and the programming um, that you can do through it uh, to set different options and different features that come with the Bill Acceptor. Um, first thing that I'm going to go over are the three types or the three uh, configurations that they made this validator in. They made it in an MDB only. Um, 110 volt only, well I guess it would be 4 because it was 110 volt only, MDB only, and then 110 volt MDB combo, 24 volt pulse MDB combo. And the combo units have your MDB connection right here and then the 30 pin uh, pulse, either 110 or 24 volt plug up here. It's the same as an MEI plug, totally interchangeable with ME, any MEI as far as the pulse 110 or 24 volt goes the same harness you know that the MEIs would have plug right into the side uh, easily interchangeable you have your MDB harness custom to the Vantage or specific to the Vantage but once it's plugged in you have MDB uh, coming out of there the um, 24 volt pulse and MDB combo is no longer made they only offer 110 volt only MDB only or the 110 volt MDB combo um, so there's still some floating around out there, but it, they're not made anymore. Um, the Vantage Bill Acceptor has what's called a quick release bezel. You've got three different styles of bezels. You have the common one, the soda style snack, I mean the soda style compact bezel. You have the uh, traditional um, snack style, VFM style bezel. A lot of MEIs have these. Um, and then you have the uh, traditional Coinco snack style bezel. A lot of these go in change machines um, from American Changer Standard, Change Maker Row. Uh, and they are all, the, the, the validators are all the same. And the bezels will fit on any validator, any, any one of these bezels. And they actually make one similar to this. It's a down stacker bezel. There's a couple others, but any of these bezels will fit on any of these validators. So if you have a spare validator without a bezel and you have, you can leave this mounted in your machine. If you need to replace the validator for whatever reason, you leave the bezel screwed in, you, you unsnap it and you snap in the validator while it's in the machine. And to unsnap it, you're going to push the red tab on each side forward and you kind of got to, each side wants to snap back on. There we go and they snap off. So you can you can leave the bezel in and snap in the validator in and out. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat. And the, uh, the VFM style and the compact style have a feature, it's called the smart bezel. And these two lenses here, um, on, the, on the validator you have two lights that sit on each side of these and it would represent, um, there's an option in the, in the programming on the, on the Vantage to turn the smart bezel on and the smart bezel tells the customer which bills can be accepted at the time or the highest bill that can be accepted based on the change situation or the recycler situation in the machine. There's a label that comes with these new and it's this one right here. There's little knockouts in it. You probably can't see it in the camera but you knock those out and, and so the lenses have an opening and you this would be on the front of your bezel and then you'll get a light lit up for each bill that can be accepted um, and the corresponding bill above it that that represents. And so it's kind of a neat live tracking for the customer of what bill can be accepted or the highest nomination that can be accepted. Um, let's see what else. The Flex Stack, all the bandages, they do come, they do offer the solid box, you know, a solid set, set sized box with these, but they still have the Flex Stack, it expands from 200 to uh, 5, I think it's 500. Is as big as I get, that they go to. Um, so let's go over the programming in these real fast. I'm going to power this one up with MDB. <clears throat> so to get into the programming, we're going to turn it around, and there's a green light back here that's on steady when the validator is in regular sales mode, and there's no errors. We're going to hold down this white button here until that light starts to flash. Then we're going to pull out the lower assembly, lower sensor board assembly. There's a tab on the bottom. We're going to push that in. 
and the whole part comes out. Um, the same light codes we're going to get on this, you're actually going to get on the front of the validator too, but we're not going to be interested in that uh, right now. Um, so there's four pages, they're called, of programming on the Vantage. And yes, you have dip switches on the side of the 110 volt and the 24 volt pulse validators that, uh, that allow you to set pulses per dollar, pulse speed, harness enable or always enable, and whether or not you're running on a pulse or serial interface. Um, and those you're going to set dependent on what the machine, I mean they're self-explanatory, they're listed on there. But unless you have the manual, the light codes aren't listed in what they mean. So when you first go into programming on these, you're going to have a light over here on the far right and it's flashing. And it's going to be flashing the number of the page of the programming that you're in. So right now it's flashing once, we're in page one. Page one is the denominations of bills that are accepted. Lights one through four represent one, five, ten, and twenty dollar bills. If the light is on, the validator is enabled for those bills. You can press the white button in the back to change the combination of bills that is enabled. And if you keep pressing the white button, it'll keep giving you different combinations until it gets back up to the full, full light. Come on. There we go. Uh, and so we're back through to ones through twenties. Now if you want to move to page two, you're going to hold down the white button in the back until this light starts flashing twice. All these will go away, the next combination will come up. So this is page two of programming. Uh, this light is for if you're going to be accepting coupons, it's on. You still have to program the coupon, but you have to turn the coupon uh, enable mode on in the validator as well. That's what this light is for. Um, the second light is for high security or if it's off it would be high acceptance. So high security is if the if you're having counterfeit problems, people using counterfeit bills, you want to turn that on. It's more picky about the bills that it accepts. Uh, this light, third light, would be for if you wanted your lights on the front of the validator to just be uh, what's called impulse lighting, where it they just they just rotate and flash, and, um, and the smart bezel would be off in that case. If you want the smart bezel, then you're going to turn light number four on, like I have it on here now, and the smart bezel will have the bottom row of lights, which will be on this housing, flashing, you know, rotating, and then the lights up here on your top will be the lights that indicate through your label what bills can be accepted based on the change situation. Okay, so let's move on to page three, hold the white button down. So on page three, uh, lights one and two are for the direction you want your bills accepted. So if you just had light number one on, um, press the button here. Light number one is one-way bill acceptance. Let me make sure I have that right. Yeah, one-way bill acceptance, uh, which is right side up, green seal first. If you have light number two on only, that is right side up either direction, so black seal or green seal first. If both of them are on, it's four ways. Right, uh, right side up, upside down, either direction. Uh, page four, hold the button down until the light starts flashing four times. So the light's flashing four times. Page four, the only option on page four currently with the current software they have out for the Vantage would be light number one. Light number one is um, level three security. And level three security is a feature that they have on these Vantages to prevent people from stringing bills. So when level three is on, and I'll see if I can get it to do it here real fast for you. Oh, which by the way, when you're done, we can't, there's no more programming options. We can cycle back to page one if you want to, but whenever you're done, no matter where you are in the programming, just put the housing back in and it'll go back to normal uh, sales mode. I always like to restart the unit after I'm done so that some of the options take will take effect. Sometimes if you turn new bills on, it won't start accepting them until you restart it. So that's level three security. What happens in level three security is when the validator is in standby or sales mode, the stacker plate comes out, I'll restart it again, about a half inch, and it sits inside your bill box. Pops back out. And what that does is, let's, let's say we're gonna 
put a bill in now and watch what happens. So it goes back in. So the bill is accepted. It's in the box now, theoretically. And then the stacker plate comes back out about a half inch. And what that does is prevents someone, if they have a string taped to the bill, from being able to pull it back out. It prevents fraud and it prevents cheating. Um, by And then they've also got uh, other options you can put on these boxes, actually. The, it's like a cutter that will cut the string if they try to pull on it. But this will keep them from being able to pull anything back out. And so that plate will sit there, and as soon as you insert the bill again, it'll go back into its home position, then accept the bill. Watch it. Here we go again. So it'll sound weird when it starts up if you have it in level 3 security and insert a bill, but that's why. So that's the overview of the CoinCo Vantage bill acceptor. If you have any questions on programming or uh, issues getting it to communicate properly with your machine and come on and work properly, give us a call. The number's on the screen there. These are all available for sale um, on our website and uh, we sell all models. If you have the older 24 volt pulse model, uh, it's a VL62 is what the model number will start out with. They're not available anymore new, but give me a call. I'll get you set up with something else if that's what you do have.